trying to round out a little bit my rear tyre is so squared off the however many thousand kilometres <laughs> down through Finland barely a bend the only bends really were um, roundabouts And over on the right hand side, the little known pyramids of Germany. It's quite some heap of earth or soil or whatever it is. It's quite a steep road to the top. Pretty little village. trying to round out a little bit my rear tyre is so squared off the however many thousand kilometres <laughs> down through Finland barely a bend the only bends really were um, roundabouts just about nothing else it was just completely straight and then didn't really improve in Estonia
rolling hills. I don't think I've noticed those for quite some time, really. I suppose we've been riding through. can't find places like this when I'm sort of looking for lunch and there are petrol stations the whole time. Good. Talking of which I had breakfast at a petrol station this morning. Coffee and a couple of pastries and 75 cls of water. Well it certainly seems popular with bikes, there's an awful lot going the other way. Very sort of curvaceous route. over on the right hand side you do expect to see green oh, that's quite sad right up to the skyline over the top all round I assume it's heat related well I've had a very hot few weeks and I would imagine it's been similar here then I don't want to seem fixated on it, but it's really sad. At the campsite last night, across the lake, there was a huge wildfire, well it looked huge. We managed to control it, but imagine this not being just a tinderbox. Still sort of picturesque and sad way. Welcome folks, it's Nick here. I thought I'd do a bit of an update review of my Honda CB500X, the 2022 model. Given that it's now done just over 25,000 miles, uh, no sorry, 25,000 kilometres in just over a year that I've had it since new. So in that time I've toured Another little chocolate box town. Perfect. A jigsaw puzzle covers and all well, the old chocolate box covers you used to get. Pretty though.
you might be wondering what I'm doing in a tiny little housing estate thing well, I'm actually looking for a guest house the campsites, it's the weekend, it's Friday night they've said, I spoke to three campsites all full for the next two weekends and a week so must be the school holidays started so anyway hopefully up here somewhere is a guest house convenient for the uh, level crossing, look at that mm -hmm. looks like there was a wedding or something going on back there and here too I think this is the place more expensive it's 48 euros which doesn't include breakfast breakfast is another seven euros fifty So I'm checked into the guest house, and very nice it seems too. A very friendly owner, and I'll take the stuff in, go for a walk around the town, and then uh, call it a night. Let me show you where I'm staying. So it's quite a nice courtyard they have, and then I'm on the ground floor, which is super because of all the gear I'm lugging around. The bike's parked under a cover. And here's the room. Very nice. Pretty spacious. Covered. Anyway, so I think I said earlier we did 340 kilometres today. It's a bit further than I'd anticipated doing, and had to backtrack a little bit to come to this hotel. It was only 15 kilometres or more. Um, but anyway, I'm going to shower, and take a walk around the town, and then tomorrow I'll figure out what the next via points are. Anyway, so what I need to do is say bye for now.